yeah. gonna fall for that <laughs> one. Uh, need my raincoat. What is the name of this lovely town that we're leaving now? Oh, I don't even remember. Where's the Camino? Um, we have to go this way. I think we should check them. You could tell the no, it's not beautiful. It's a lovely morning. It smells a little bit sea salty. Yeah, it does. It smells like we're Yeah, at the weird. Ocean. We're not at the ocean. Orange. Orange trees. Yeah, so today we've got a long one. 37, is it? 36 kilometers. <clears throat> Ooh. Um, not so hot today. I think like 26, isn't it? It was going to be as hot as yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, by the afternoon. And sunny all day? I think so. It's a little chilly this morning. It's getting colder. We're up at a higher altitude now, 2,000 feet, so <clears throat> a little cooler in the mornings, especially. I'm happy about. Yep, look out. Traffic, oh man, rush hour. There we are, there's our arrows. Yeah, so for those of you who are new to following the big Camino adventures, we basically follow these yellow arrows all day long. And so our brains are kind of wired to focus on the yellow arrows and to do what we're told. So they lead us all the way across the country. And it's usually pretty well marked. I mean, I think it was Portugal where it was. There was some areas of Portugal for two years ago, we did the Portuguese Camino that weren't marked very well, but all the that other ones are pretty good. Uh, yeah. And this one, we've only met a handful of people and they're all in one group other than that we haven't seen a single other person doing yeah, it yeah haven't really which is seen kind of depressing a little bit lonely out here have not seen many pilgrims uh, except this group of germans who are nice but and they're not overly friendly this particular group so haven't been able to kind of make friends with any of them but uh yeah, so there's the more arrows. That's the town that we were in last night. Wish I could tell you the name of it. What is the Camino? I get asked quite often. <laughs> Maybe I don't get asked that too often. A couple times. <laughs> so the Camino de Santiago is a... Is a ancient pilgrimage route across Europe to finish in Santiago de Compostela in Spain, which is supposedly the grave of St. James. Now, St. James, the remains were supposedly discovered in 812 AD so you gotta imagine 800 years after the death of Christ, did they really find the, the, the remains of St. James? Doubtful. However, uh, to paint a picture of what it was like back in the day, there's a really great fiction book by Ken Follett called Pillars of Stone. And that paints a really, really good picture of what it, what it would have been like back in the day um, of building these massive cathedrals investing these enormous resources into building these cathedrals because uh, people would visit the towns and that would bring economic prosperity to the towns if they built a really big cathedral. And then they would do things like uh, they would discover a, you know, a statue of the Virgin Mary whose eyes would bleed or something like that. And people would come from all over Europe on a pilgrimage to that cathedral to see that and of course they'd spend their money on the way and so forth and so forth. So, you know, probably why the bones of St. James were discovered and uh, why they're in the cathedral and 
Santiago. Anyways, it became a very famous Catholic pilgrimage for Roman Catholics all across Europe to make this big journey once in their lives to visit the grave of St. James in Santiago de Compostela. So, and that started 800 BC. So it's a very, very old, um, traveled, well-traveled routes. There are, how many Caminos are there now? Oh, I don't know, there's lots all over Europe. There's, but there's like uh, five main ones in Spain and we're doing the last main one in Spain. We did, or not, <coughs> Spain, Portugal area. We did St. Francis, which is the main one that everybody does. So St. Francis goes from uh, goes France? France to Santiago. And, then and we that's, did, that's in Northern Spain. And then we did Portugal, so we walked the entire country of Portugal. So, and that's on the east coast, or sorry, the west coast of Spain. And then from Lisbon we did to Santiago. Finisterra, which is the end of the world Camino, which starts in Santiago and actually goes out to the ocean, because some people believe that that's really where you finish the Camino, is at the ocean. And then last year we did Norte, which is along the north coast, along the ocean, which we loved. Um, yeah, I'd say to this. I'd say the Norte was our most favorite Camino so far because it was beautiful. It was like it was very hilly. beach, ocean, really beautiful, very hilly, gorgeous. Um, but basically we have everything we need. For... Oh, he's waving at us. Ah, that way. We're going oh. the wrong way. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this uh -huh. rancher, uh, Farmer. <laughs> we're too busy yakking into the iPhones here and he's... Um, telling us we're going the wrong way. Yeah, here's the sign. There's the yellow arrow right there. So anyways, we've done, this is our fourth, and how many others are there? This is our fifth, including Finisterra. Well, including Finisterra, yeah. It's a separate Camino. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch of them all over. There's one that even goes from England all the way down to Rome. Not all of them finish in uh, Santiago, but most of them do. Some ancient solar panel ruins. This is our halfway town. <laughs> Not halfway. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like maybe a third of the way. No, halfway. Okay. <laughs> really? Yeah, I told you it's a tough one today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oi, oi, oi. Yes, this is the Ham Museum. Mmm, bacon chips. Mm -hmm. 